So it's great to be back at a physical conference. It's been two and a half years, and here we are in Orobro in Sweden, visiting Ericsson with over 100 people. Thank you both so much for all the work you do, and, uh, and welcome as honorary fellows of our institute. The party is over. 2021 was a glory days, very strong growth, the inflated demand. Another issue this year is a geopolitical issue. The global supply chain is reshaping itself. So if there is a message here at all, you know, people should really be mapping their supply chains and understanding where things come from and understanding where the risks are. I'm delighted to be attending this conference we've had in Aribo in Sweden, where a diverse group of PCB fabricators, suppliers, material suppliers and chemistry suppliers have spoken on a range of topics. When you take countermeasures at a very early start in the process, the sooner you find problems and you can fix them, the cheaper it will be to fix them. PCBs, sorry to say, have a little bit of an image problem in space industry. Autonomous driving, just to give you an idea, if you are driving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour, it takes you about one second to react. Within this one second, you have driven about 28 meters. And latency of 5G is about one millisecond. Thanks to 5G, after 2.8 centimeter, your car will break. This different standard, is that done intentionally or is there anything against the standard? <laughs> We're doing that just to confuse you. <laughs> no, but all joking aside, there's IPC subcommittee out there working on standardization of test methods. Wouldn't it be great to just additively manufacture all the components of a transistor or do the same thing with a solar cell, do the same thing with an OLED display or a printed circuit board? Of course, this is a nice vision and not everything is possible. In our industry, we know the printer is a very uh, robust technology. The, the surface mount components itself is very robust technology. The weak link we always find is the solder joint. ALD is a gas phase project that happens in a vacuum reactor. It's a purely chemical reaction. We are plating our copper foil on top of a huge titanium drum. And basically, the roughness of the titanium drum will give you the initial roughness of the foil products our company has developed is a low transmission loss film and it's uh, 5g antennas on a stripes i think it's the project's called radio stripes we have produced this for ericsson and i think they showed it at the mobile world congress as well thank you for someone acknowledge my age at the company i have a final picture <laughs> <laughs> when it all started. As a co-sponsor from Ericsson and I took the initiative to bring the people here to uh, Örebro, my hometown, to uh, have this conference and the opportunity to show our test development in, in Kumla. We're having our Diamond Jubilee, uh, 60 years on this site. So for that I give you a, a little toast if you have something <laughs> less, but anyway. And, uh,